You and Josh have been joined at the hip since university. You've lived together on and off for eight years. So that makes us gay. No, but think about it. You're both each other's most successful long-term relationship. And that doesn't bother you in the slightest. Oh, okay, okay. Obviously, Josh is my best friend, and I take a punch I for him any I think you're jealous. <laughs> Whatever. So who are you taking to the fight tonight? I am taking Phil Johnson, and he's not canceling on me. Phil Johnson from college? Have fun. He's a nice guy. Where are we going anyway? A church. Choir practice. Later. Say hi to Trish for me. Say hi to Phil the mouth breather. Maddie's totally into you. You should ask her out. Jen, she's not really my type. Funny, smart, outgoing. You said that was your type? It's Trish. She's texting me. Ah, the new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. How's it going? <laughs> um, let's just say our hallelujahs are right in sync. Mm. What's the problem? Her bush too big. What? Her bush is too big. Her cushion's too big? Her bush is too big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How big? Like 70s porno style? Got a weed whacker? So, you have a different aesthetic. Why don't you ask her to wax? <laughs> a guy I dated once asked me, and I didn't mind. She doesn't even shave her legs. She's very PC about these things. Then make a PC argument. Like what? Only fascists are hairy? <laughs> or maybe. If she shaves, she'll transcend the aesthetic dominance of the phallus. It's Audrey's book. Yeah, still bullshit? Give me more. Okay, here, write this down. You climbed out the window. So you're like a living cliche. Yeah, I'm glad I have my friends to console me. That happened to me once. Actually, yeah, more than once. Are you sure Boronofsky saw you? I don't know. It was dark. It... Look, tonight is the farewell soiree for him. I should tell him. Good plan. What are you, insane? All right, it's my stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Sure, it's gonna be fine. Thanks. He's dead. Definitely. Speaking of dead, how's the wine bar? Cute. But you're right, the vital signs aren't good. Ooh, does that mean you're actually gonna start listening to my ideas? As long as it doesn't involve two words. Yeah. Wet t-shirts. Dear Jen, the weather's cold. You were right to pack a sweater. Keep going. Uh, uh, uh. Love is like that. I miss you like crazy. Love, 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 Trish. She's a fucking love jamboree. You know what this means, don't you? Uh. She's gonna notice that I'm not saying it back. Then we're gonna have this big conversation about how I'm incapable of commitment. And then blah, 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 it'll be over. Problem solved. <laughs> I was just feeling so uncomfortable with the beef between Zeke Fabulous and Bird. I mean, there is already too much violence in the Chicago hair care scene. And I don't want to be a part of it anymore. I mean, weren't we supposed to learn from Tupac and Biggie? Huh. I think you just came up with a way that we can both help each other. Oh, so you weren't trying to moonlight while things are slow here? What you talking about, David? The bitch got hit by three zebras and a monkey. I can't stand a bitch nowhere. When I look up in the peas, I ain't got any speed. I'm a bad bitch, I'm a goddamn motherfucker. You ain't gotta like me. He's done these hoes. Need to talk what you know. But I will turn you in. Don't give me what I need. I don't need you adding to the mix. Step to make it burn like toast. Motherfucker got a yo some egos. As long as it doesn't involve two words. Yeah. Wet. T-shirts. 